I'd like to present two use cases that highlight the value of weights and biases we've combined with the powerful large language model Gemini Pro. The first use case is summarization of long documents. Many of our customers face time constraints, but need to process a lot of information. This is where Gemini's large context window becomes particularly beneficial. The second use case is the Morgan Stanley Research Rack model. Many customers use a retrieval augmented generation to access and respond to questions related to proprietary or internal documents. Let's start with the summarization use case. We can see the model is defined in Weave, where we can see all the parameters, including the model name, which refers to Gemini 1.5 Pro latest checkpoint. The prompt template uh, in the summary model refers to a JSON schema. We can also see JSON schema stored as uh, one of the input parameters into the model. We can see uh, a title and a summary that we want to get uh, as an output of the model. We also see that um, the summary should be a plain short text without markdown. And we can also see that the prompt refers to the length of the document, which should be less than 200 words. Defining these requirements in the prompt is good, but evaluating your LLM application against these requirements builds confidence that the model actually meets them. By defining your model in Weave, you can easily reference and deploy it. For example, on GCP. These setups provide a valuable observability by storing all your model calls. You can see all the calls to our predict method and inspect the inputs and the outputs and see how the model is doing. Now for the evaluation, we want to check that our summary um, is generated according to the defined schema and is less than 200 words. We have a data set of 18 long papers and evaluate our model on two metrics, uh, the formatting and the conciseness. We check if the formatting meets our requirements and if the word count stays within our set limit. We can see that we achieve around 89% accuracy uh, on both metrics, but we need to dig deeper to understand where the model fails. In most cases, uh, the model meets our requirement, but it fails in two instances. When we inspect um, these instances where the model is failing, um, we can see that the problem is with uh, the predict method and the error that we're facing is 504 deadline exceeded error. And that tells me that uh, whenever we actually reach uh, the model API, it responds uh, reliably, but in some cases we are failing to reach the API properly. And that means that something that related to our setup, for example, our um, request quota might require an increase. And by uh, looking at our evaluation in this way, we can see where our application might uh, require an improvement and we can get better results over time. The second use case uh, involves the Morgan Stanley Research RAG model. Here we use the predict method um, and highlight how easy it is to instrument within your code. Um, you can see that um, instrumenting with is as simple as adding at weave.op decorator to the functions you want to trace. In this case, we are dealing with a simple uh, predict function but in many cases, you will have nested functions. And as you decorate each of these nested functions in Weave, you will get a detailed trace that will allow you to debug where your application is failing. If we go back to the call, and we can see that a question that a user asked uh, is actually not responded by the model. And that's something that we might want to check in detail and understand what's happening here. We can see one of the input parameters at context is set to false. And if we look at the code again, we can see by setting this parameter to false, we're actually not benefiting from any uh, context document 
uh, that uh, might uh, might need to be added to the to the prompt. So in this case, the model does not have any insight into how to answer the user question, and it properly responds, I don't know. If you look at one of the other instances where uh, the same uh, method is called uh, with the same question, but now uh, our context argument is set to true, we can now see that um, the model was able to properly respond to this question. In summary, adding weave to your LLM application is super straightforward. By using the at weave.op decorator, you get powerful observability. You can save uh, data sets, you can save models, you can save evaluations, and that allows you to build LLM applications with a better productivity and deploy them with confidence that you're actually meeting your user requirements and solving uh, the right business problems.